Today on Nate's Interactive Auto, I'm going to show you the number one cause of oil consumption and how you can stop it on a GDI or direct injection engine. First up, you're going to need an oil catch can hooked up to the PCV system or positive crankcase ventilation. And I'm going to show you why now. Because all of that oil vapor makes it around through the PCV system and into the engine and that's what causes the carbon buildup on the intake valves but there's a way that you can really make a difference Now, take a look at all the gunk that came out of that oil catch can. I mean, really? Do you want that going into your intake, onto your valves, that's not being cleaned off with gasoline? Or, even if you don't have a GDI engine. I have this on all my engines. Here we have the breather side of the PCV system. This allows fresh air in. As you can see, it's connected in with the intake, also to the valve cover coming around. I have a filter on it as well. Now for the PCV valve. You need to check this every once in a while. Need to remove the clamp or loosen it up. This way you can pull off the hose connected to the PCV valve. Now most PCV valves are in here with a grommet and you can pop them in or out or you can unthread them which is what I'm about to do. We need to make sure that the PCV valve isn't stuck open or closed because this can blow seals and you can leak a lot of engine oil destroying your engine if it's stuck closed. Or if it's stuck open then you're going to burn a lot of engine oil. Now to check the PCV valve because these guys really do last a long time. And most of them are pretty inexpensive, like five bucks, but there's quite a bit higher priced ones, so shake it. This is how the old timers used to tell if they were still good, not the most accurate way in the world. Now, we wanna go ahead and hook it back up to our vacuum hose, then we can see if it's working or not. Push it back in there on your vacuum hose. Next thing you want to do, start the engine up. Once we start the engine up, we're just going to put our finger over the end of the valve, then take it off and see if we can feel it and hear it moving. Because that'll show us if it's opening or closing. You can hear the valve whistling. Hear it opening and closing. Now we can go ahead and turn the engine back off and I'll show you how to clean this PCV valve. Let's go ahead and pull the valve back out. Next we'll take some brake parts cleaner. Spray it inside the valve both sides just 
work it back and forth. Allow it to air dry, then install it. Thread it back in by hand. Get it nice and snug. Then use your socket. Tighten it up. You don't want to over tighten it. Next, put your vacuum hose back on. Tighten it back up. You can find one of these oil catch cans online for just a few dollars on Amazon. I'll include a link in the description below for a really inexpensive one. If you want a nice baffled one, they do cost a little bit more, but you can usually add your own baffling and it turns out to be a lot better. As always guys, thanks for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.